if you're having trouble with Mac OS X Lion, with your getting the spinning beach ball when you're switching between applications, things just seeming to slow down, you may need more memory on your iMac. I had a mid-2007 iMac before and recently upgraded to a mid-2011 iMac and didn't notice any difference in the speed. I was very disappointed. It turned out that I needed more memory. I'm going to show you how I figured that out and what happened when I added more memory. First thing you want to do is go to the activity monitor, which should be in your utilities folder, and take a look at that. In activity monitor, switch to the system memory tab, which is here, and you can see what, what processes are running and how much memory they take. Over here, you will see your total amount, or the amount of memory that is free, which will be shown in this pie chart in green. That should be a, the larger number, the better. You'll see the amount of memory that's wired, that's memory that's actually being used, that's fixed in memory. You'll see the amount of memory that is active, that's the amount of memory that's being used, that's of course active memory. And then you'll see the amount of memory that is inactive, that's been allocated but's not been used. And you can see right now, of my total of 12 gig I have, I've got used about 3 gig. Now before I did my upgrade, which was actually yesterday, I had a total of 4 gig of RAM and this number was still around 3 gig, my free memory kept dropping down to below actually 50 megabytes, which is when you absolutely know you need more memory. Over here, you'll see what's called page ins and page outs. As you run out of actual RAM, your machine uses your disk space to store information. And then when you page in, that's when the information is being pulled off your disk. When you page out, it's information writing out to your disk. Page outs can severely slow your system down. Page outs ideally should be zero or very low. And then swapping is when memory is being swapped in and out of from the disk to the actual RAM itself. So what's happening before is, as I said, I was seeing this green part of the graph, the free memory was very low. The inactive part of the graph was somewhat high. But then my, my wired and active memory was very high, which was causing me to have high page outs and high swap used. If you see the swap use go up over a certain amount, then you want to start, that's when you want to start thinking about having more memory. Now what you can do is start opening applications, and if you use your machine the way I do, I usually have multiple applications open at a time. I'm running iTunes to play music in the background, I'm checking mail, I'll have two or three uh, windows open at least in Firefox and Safari. And as you start opening these things, you'll see the amount of free memory start to drop, the amount of wired memory and active memory usually rise, and you'll see, if you start seeing again page outs and swap using rising, that's when you know you need more memory. And as I said, that's what I was seeing when I had the 4 gig until I upgraded yesterday. Now I've got plenty of free memory. Uh, I have 8.2 gig. I've got open pretty much everything I would have open at a normal time. If you can open up all the applications you'd normally be running, and these numbers stay low, page outs, swap used, uh, and you still have a fair amount of free memory, then you do not need to do a memory upgrade. If you start opening up the applications that you would normally use and these numbers start to, the free memory starts to drop and you're using as much, nearly as much RAM as you have and you start seeing swap goes up, go up, that means you of course do need more memory. Now the question is, if you do need more memory, how much more do you need? When I contacted uh, Crucial where I bought my memory, the person there tried to talk me into doing one of the large memory upgrades. The new Macs will hold up to 32 gig, uh, which can get to be quite expensive. But for me, the sweet spot was, I, it comes with 4 gig of RAM installed, and I decided to add 8 gig to take it to 12. Uh, as of June of 2012, 8 gig of RAM was only 50 bucks. I figured that was a pretty good investment to see where that took me. Uh, my swap use, even when I was running all the applications I could possibly run and let the activity monitor run for quite a while, which you want to do while you're working, uh, the swap use is going up to say maybe 3 or 4 gigabytes. So I didn't need to go to 20 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes or even 16. So since it came with two, um, two gigabyte uh, chips in the machine already, I had 4 gig. I had two slots open. So I decided to buy two 4 gig slot, two 4 gig memory chips to fill those two slots to take me to a total of 12 gig and just give that a try. I've been running this for a day or so and again with all these applications open, some of these being real memory hogs like for example my iPhoto which used to take forever to open, uh, my iTunes, etc. I still have 
almost 8 gig of RAM free. So the 12 gig memory upgrade I'm going to be very happy with and it only cost me 50 bucks. It's easy to install. It took about 5 minutes. You have to unplug everything in your Mac. There are instructions on YouTube as how to do it. So I highly recommend this memory upgrade. Again, I would recommend going from the 4 that you've got installed, which is probably not going to be enough if you use your Mac the way I do with lots of things open at a time and just go ahead and take it up to 12 and you should be very happy with that.